Well, it looks like the Rainbow Six community has moved on. With the release of the latest Siege update came new bugs, and these new bugs hurt the competitive side of Siege, mostly ranked, where you couldn't actually see your in-game rank last week. And for a long time too, just the competitive servers weren't working. So the community did one of the most unusual things. They played Article 5. Article 5 is Siege's most unique game mode. It's technically the only campaign mission in Siege, it's a cooperative mission requiring 5 players to launch, it plays like a standard terrorist hunt bomb mission, but it's covered with a thick cloud of toxic gas. It's a hard but rewarding mission, and it's generally just dead. Most people don't want to play it for some reason, so most of the time it's difficult to solo queue. You can play it with four friends, but it's a bit difficult to set up. But just this last week, the Siege community decided to play it, and they played it a lot. I would come home from school or work and find lobbies playing the mode, and I played the mission like 15 or 16 times, even beating the mission solo. It was just this nice and almost wholesome moment for me in the Siege community, just grouping up with random players with one simple goal, stop the terrorist attack. It's what I've always wanted Siege to be, and it has been, without a doubt, the most fun I have ever had in the game, at least in a long time. While the mode sadly suffered from the terrorist hunt rework, meaning there's no suicide bombers, it does still feature barbed wire, which is nice. At least these terrorists try to slow your advances. But even still, the mission is fun, and hard enough to be a fair challenge. Sure, the gas is hard to see in and the AI can see through it, but by going slow and working with your teammates, it's a very rewarding and exciting experience. A tactical game, if you will. Just playing this mode has solidified my love for this game's terrorist hunt and how badly this game needs a proper campaign mode. Yeah, by all technical accounts, Situations is a campaign, it's single player missions, but they're not held together by any sort of story or plot or anything like that. The only thing that connects them is Rainbow fighting the white masks, and that's it. No lore or character development. Article 5 is the exception. Terrorists attack a school, Rainbow goes in, stops them, then Rainbow counterattacks, with the counterattacks being the terrorist hunt missions. It's weird, the devs of Siege didn't want to make a campaign mode and only had a few single player missions because an online only game in 2015 was still controversial. And despite their lack of wanting to make a story mode, they ended up making one of, if not the best missions in any Rainbow Six game ever. I honestly mean it. Article 5 is one of the franchise's best missions ever. It's by far the most unique mission in the franchise, and it is just really fun. If you can get four of your friends to play it, I highly recommend trying it out. The mission will challenge even the most veteran of players and encourage a new strategy that encourages teamwork. The community may have moved on, but it's not forgotten. Until we meet again, Article 5. with the diffuser and diffuse the device.
five seconds remaining. There was no other team in the world that could have accomplished what you did today. But this victory comes with a cost. Our nation has been hit where we are most vulnerable. But we must remain vigilant in the face of this emerging threat. As the ultimate goal of our enemy is still unknown. Reactivating Team Rainbow was the right choice. The only choice in these uncertain times. Our work is just beginning. We will track down the people responsible for this attack. We will show them that we are not afraid. And we will stand ready to repel any threat they throw our way. Now that Rainbow is back. <laughs>